Hi guys, Shelly here. Wanted to, those ducks. Wanted to show you um, signs and symptoms of pests in the garden. So I have been pruning back my tomato plants, but I came out today and I saw this and I certainly did not do that. So I knew that I definitely had a tomato hornworm close by. So I searched and I've already pulled this little guy off. There he is. Yep, that's the dreaded tomato hornworm. And that's the damage they can do just in a very, very short amount of time. So I'm gonna go check the other plants. Look, so even a tomato on the ground and see if I can find any other damage, any other signs of hornworms. And then I'm gonna show you what we do with the hornworms around here. Do you see anything that shouldn't be there? I do. Look at this guy. I just happened to see that stripe as I was walking past. So he's gonna go with me. I saw a little dark shadow over here. Let's climb in there. That guy's not supposed to be here. Pretty sure that's a cutworm, not positive. Oh, oh my goodness. While looking at him, I just looked up. Let's see. I'm really zoomed in, so I'm gonna have to find this guy. Look at there another one all right so let me zoom out and with these cutworms let's go back to him all i do with them is i take the leaf and just smush him so he's gone with these hornworms let's see if i can find him again in my screen there he is i just take that whole branch that they're on Snip it off with my fingers. Oh, he fell on the ground, which means now I have to touch him. Which I'm, I'm not a big, I'm, bugs don't bother me. Caterpillars, things like that don't bother me. But these guys like to attach to your finger and they like to squirt green stuff on you. So I don't particularly like handling them. I think I'm gonna try to just get a leaf and scoop him up. I've got all these leaves down here where I trimmed the plants the other day. Man, they don't wanna even come off. So I'm just gonna wrap him up in a little leaf and he's going with me. All right, this is why you wanna check your tomato plants every day. If you're pretty familiar with your plants, you can see where the foliage um, is missing. And even if you're not, you just need to look around. We have got six today. So let me show you what happens to these hornworms. This is the fun part. If you watch our channel, you've heard these guys quite often. So now the fun begins. <laughs> Everybody get their own. The duck won't eat them, but the chicken certainly will. Let's see if anybody's gonna get out. Oh, there you go. So, the tomato worms eat my tomato plants, and then the chickens eat my tomato worms. It's the whole cycle of life thing. So I really cannot stand having the tomato worms because they do destroy the plants, but I do really enjoy feeding them to the chickens.